Okay, so this is a 2021-2021 brand new Keystone Passport SL Series 292BH. Uh, I'm going to do a walk around, walk through the trailer, and I'll identify all the modifications that I've done and upgrades, which are pretty extensive. So, start off with the front of the trailer here. Um, we've got dual propane tanks. Which is standard, nothing special. This is an upgraded jack. It's an Ultra Fab Phoenix 4000. Super fast. Uh, really, really fast jack with memory functions. Uh, 10 year warranty. So it's registered, I believe. And yeah, it is registered because that's how I get the 10 year warranty. So. so here's the power tongue jack. This is an upgrade. Um, I'm gonna step over here to our side. This is an Ultra Fab Phoenix 4000. It's one of the fastest jacks in the market. Um, we took off the factory Lipert jack. Still have it, but uh, this jack's amazing. So anyway, a little demonstration how fast it is. As you can see, it's pretty fast. I've always kept the jack cover on that too. Um, no batteries up front. So that's a pretty obvious thing here. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Explain why. All the factory wiring is kept intact in case somebody might want to change it back. The number right there. We have an Anderson late distribution system. It's about $500 or so, $600 I think it was. Um, works amazingly well with this particular trailer. Zero sway, super easy, no weight bars, spring bars to mess with. Super quiet, no creaking and groaning and all that stuff. Um, Pre-wired for solar, but you don't need it. I'll show you why. Um, there's all the information. So we've got unloaded vehicle weight, 6,000 pounds. Loaded, 7,200 pounds. Oh, I thought it was 78. Quite a bit lighter. We tow this with our big van, Nissan NV, 3500, no problem. Pass through storage. We have inverter prep here, inverter and um, solar prep. But you don't need it. I'll show you why. Nice, spacious storage framed in aluminum. This has a brand new flooring system for Keystone that changed in 2021. Fresh water fill, city water hookups. Trailer door here, window, fire escape, magnetic latch. I guess I should identify that. Magnetic latch. Oh, check these things out. Slam latches. Amazing. Um, we have the cable slide system. Really quick, quiet. Uh, supports a ton of weight on the slide. It's an extra large slide. Really nice. We added a slide topper from the factory too. It's about a thousand, fifteen hundred dollar. Oh, I think it's about fifteen hundred dollar upgrade. Uh, well worth it. We love it. Works great. Um, haven't had any wind issues with it. We go to the beach a lot. No problems there. Um, pretty standard stuff on this side. We have these dual big windows. Really nice for sitting, looking out the window, and chilling. Down here. Furion 30 amp. Outside shower. Dump 
tank valves, gray water, black water, check it out. Sealed underbelly. Nearly new tires. Probably are brand new tires, actually. Go figure, huh? Alright. Here's the fun part here. This is a pack and play door. You open this door up. You have a bed. Pretty cool, huh? It's a bed. Four twin beds. There's cabinets there. And I'm showing you this right now because I'm going to lift this up. That's going to make a mess of the bedding. So, nice, nice and neat bedding here. All the bedding, sheets, comforters here, all can go to the trailer too. It's all clean. Nearly new. 2021, we bought all stuff brand new for the trailer. Check this out. Here's a fun part, ready? Here we go. This is a Xantrex Freedom XC2000 inverter charger. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery, 280 amp hours. Put the bed up here, this bed lifts up, so that you can put bikes back here, whatever you want to put back here. But, as far as magic goes, again, a 2000 watt inverter and charger. Sort of lithium iron phosphate battery, 280 amp hours in this one pack. I built it myself, and extremely solid battery, performs very well. Back here, we've got solar power coming in. That's the cutoff for that. Here is a 50 amp breaker for the 12 volt surface. We have a Victron Smart Solar 50 amp. Solar charge controller, bus bar, the Victron BMV 712 for monitoring exact battery status. This is the fun stuff here. I'll show you more inside. Here's a girdle I talked about. Brand new spare tire. LED lights. Normal drain gutters here, nothing special there. Let's see how talented I am on this ladder here. Hopefully, I don't fall off. Up on the roof here, we have three 335 watt solar panels. Actually, this one's a little more, but it gets clipped down to the other ones. We got a thousand watts of solar on this roof here. Two in the front. Right up here, we have Max Air right here. There's a Max Air right there, and a Max Air right there. The living space. I'll show you more of that inside. Roof, everything's been checked for leaks, seals, everything else. I replaced both of those standard vents there with the max air myself. All right, let's see if I can get down the ladder without falling now. I did it. On the outside here, windows for the bunks. A nice mini outside kitchen. So I've got this refrigerator, mini fridge outside here. Guess what? It runs off the inverter. You don't have to worry about losing power for your fridge. We got the pull-out kitchen here. Sink right here. The faucet right there. Snaps in for a faucet or an additional outside shower. Plenty of storage in here. The 13 burner stove, which is brand new. Used, I think, once or twice. Lots of shelf support storage space out here. You slide out on both sides. 
And again, this refrigerator is an AC refrigerator. AC power. But the whole trailer works on inverter power now. Uh, also, we have the uh, wheel covers. Uh, another modification I did is over here. We've got the outside vent right here. The sun's blinding the camera. This was not part of the original trailer. I added that on there. So we've got a nicely sealed, non factory outside venting hood vent. It didn't include it on this trailer. A lot of them don't have it. I wanted it. We put it on there. Works great. This grab bar, we had this on too. Power awning, obviously. Outside speakers. And this trailer comes equipped with the power stabilizers, which are accessed through here. Again, plenty of storage. We keep a tray in here. Here's the Anderson part of Anderson weight distribution set. This is a motion light here. Uh, so here's the controls for the um, stabilizers. We all have a fuse right here, self resetting fuse. So you just keep running them down until they shut off and the circuit breaker trips and you're good to go. Again, the slam latches. I love those things. Nice aluminum plating in the front of the trailer here. Protects the rocks. And since the batteries are gone, go place for the gas tank. Let's go inside. Three step stairs. Not the ones that fold up inside the trailer. Let's take a look here. Screen door. Okay, the forward bed here. This is a queen bed. Hey, how's it going? Um, queen bed. Plenty comfortable. Uh, we've added some details throughout the trailer that we'll see. These are push button lights. We added these decals here. My wife found these on Amazon. Be happy to put a link in the video too. In case you're just watching this video and you like the trailer. Pretty easy to apply. I've got a video for that too. Smoke detector, air conditioner vent. Cabinets up here for storage. Lots of storage in this trailer. Lots. Mirrors. Continues on over there. Big wardrobes. Lots of space here. We keep some baskets down there. We've got USB chargers here. These always work. And guess what? The outlets throughout the whole trailer work too. A secret storage space here for your, um, well, whatever. Windows. Here's one thing we just added on our last trip. Whiteboard. On Velcro here. 3M command strips. If you don't like it there, you can take it off. These are pocket doors here. Those closed for privacy on both sides. Okay, down here, I've got a video and pictures of this too. This is where your water pump is here on this trailer. Um, the factory water pump is a FlowJet brand. It's terrible. Really, really loud. Um, so obnoxious. Anyway, I put in a brand new Seaflow brand pump. A um, little bit, slightly higher pressure. And I put in an expansion tank too, down here. So now you've got nearly silent um, water pump here. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can do it here. Demonstrate that. I don't think it's gonna stay. There we go. Or not. Nice big long retracting faucet here. We'll put these 
grates in here. Cover the sink. They roll up out of the way. We always keep our water bottle outside, but um, sometimes we keep it inside here too. It works great. Um, this chiller is coming equipped, ready to go. You've got a nice machine. Make your own ice on battery power. You don't need hookups to this trailer. When you get to the campground, fill up with water, push the on off button, you're good to go. Panel here for controls. You have your awning, power awning. So that goes out. Nice large awning. Uh, obviously the slide controls here, LP. You can actually run the electric hot water heater off the inverter. Don't need to do that, wouldn't recommend it, but you can. Um, never pay attention to these buttons here. They're pretty much useless. Batteries are relevant. Fresh tank is nice to know how much water you have left. That one's pretty accurate. Black tank, gray tank, those ones are relevant. These are pretty commonly ineffective on all trailers. Okay, so going back to our slide here, we get the speakers here. Entertainment center. I'll back to the slide in a minute. Glass cabinet doors. Keep some storage in here. Your cable, satellite, power for the TV. Guess what? It works all the time. Don't need hookups to this trailer. Blu-ray player. Entertainment center for outside speakers. More storage. Keep a little vacuum down there. Utensils down here. I love this cabinet door here. Keep up our pots and pans. That's nice. Here, I'll show you one more thing too. Look, I'll watch underneath the table there. Underneath the dining room table. We've got blue LEDs. There. Right down here. Those are pretty cool. I'll switch right here. So, you've seen the TV. The TV pulls out, turns, swivels, all that fun stuff. Nice big, gosh, 32 inch TV or so. It's pretty big. We just had these on our last trip. And what I mean, our last trip. <laughs> it was great. Everything's brand new in the chiller. We added these in. These things are amazing. They're actually real wood from a tree. These things are all. They have Velcro on them, so they don't move around a slide. They're all stuck to the wall really nicely, but they're removable. Pretty cool, huh? Dimmer light, this thing's fun too. Check this out. Touch it. Lights go on, off. Touch it, hold it. And the lights dim. Off. Pretty fun. Nice big windows. The couch pulls out. This is called a trifold, I think. Yeah, this is a trifold, not a jackknife. You just pull it out and you get a nice big bed here. Practically, uh, it's probably full size, I'm thinking. Uh, got some extra blankets, obviously. The table goes down for a nice oversized twin here. Um, cabinet space down here. USB chargers. More space here. This ladder here goes up to the bunk room, kind of. <laughs> These are the fans that I added. These ones in. These are Max Air fans. Fantastic. Except that's a different brand. Fantastic. <laughs> Get it. And these have the rain covers on them too, so if it's pouring down rain, you can have the fan going. It's pretty cool. Off button. Crank it down. And then you can turn it on if you just want white noise. That's like a whole house fan. I mean, there's a quite a bit of airflow right here, too. So, not a whole house fan. But, certainly it's the air. So, back to this side here. 
This is another decal we put on. Life is an adventure. Here's our map here. All the seats we've been to. Again, this is stuck on the wall, so it's not going to go anywhere. A ladder. We bought the ladder. We have some nice spice racks here. They just pop on, pop off. They stay right there where you need them. These shelves come out if you need to. Nice storage brace here. Power center down here. You got a fuse that goes out. Lights light up. AC breakers. And I'll come back to this here in a second. In the bathroom here, we have some more fun upgrades. Oh, all these carpets too. All these rugs. We need all these too. They can go with the trailer. We have another bathroom fit. Another Maxair brand. This toilet. Check this out. I know toilets are nothing to write home about, but this is not a plastic cheap RV toilet. This is a Dometic 320, I think, or 330. Um, upgraded. It's all ceramic and wood slow close lids. Check it out. Didn't quite fit in here, but I wanted it anyway. So I modified the wall here and I installed it in there anyway. Works perfectly. So. All you have to do is just put a recess in the wall there. And then you can get this ceramic toilet in here. Just like a household toilet, except we've got a flush pedal. Modified some cabinetry over here, move this shelf up. The faucet, there's a residential faucet. I switched that one out as well. Medicine cabinet, and normal stuff there. Lights, GFCI, guess what? Hair dryer, it always works in this trailer. Power, no power. Shower curtain. We would do this too. Um, the shower curtain. Here's a factory shower curtain rod. Man, that was awful. Shower curtain just stuck to you like everything. So we'll check this out. We found this one. Whoops. Isn't that cool? So here in the shower. You have lots of extra space. Then when you're traveling, it goes back in. There you go. Uh, we upgraded the shower head. This is a um, Oxygenics brand. We also put in a extra good shutoff valve. That's in another video too. Skylight has been Take it apart, make sure there's no um, no leaks in there. Really good shape. Showers in really good condition. No problem. It's a brand new trailer. What do you expect? Added a little hook here for towels. There's the bathroom. So check out the bunk room. So this trailer is pretty fun for its unique floor plan. In that it's only got one slide, save on weight. It's got four twin beds. There's a pack and play door, the inverter, and everything is in right there. Not much heat's generated from it. On the floor, we have a heat vent, and up here, we have the air conditioner vent, fully ducted air conditioner. All the beds, and all the comforters, and quilt. Our laundry basket up here, all your outlets. USB chargers, they all work when you're camping. You don't need a generator. Towel storage. We use this for games. Again, this bed here flips up. So you can use this for a bed or just for storage. For traveling, they put the bed down and then you can have the bed there again. Um, the weight limit on these beds is 300 pounds. So, I mean, fully grown adults can go in here. Again, if you forgot, this is a Keystone Passport 292BH. Now check this out. This is the fun part. We just like so don't forget it. Again, this trailer has a 280 amp hour bank of batteries. You can upgrade that. Double that if you'd like. There's plenty of space for it. We have a Victron. This is a BMV 712, which is a shunt-based energy monitor. 
This tells you exactly what your percentage is on your battery, how much power you're currently using, what your battery voltage is, which is more or less irrelevant. Amps in, amps out. We have solar charging going on right now, so the batteries are being replenished. Watts being used. And here is our Zentrex control panel. This is a remote. It's an extra hundred dollars or so. Um, got Bluetooth. There's an app so you can monitor exactly what your inverter is doing. Check it out. Push this button. And you go from no power to everything's fully powered. So right now the trailer is not plugged in. But guess what? Need to warm up some hot dogs for the kids. Warm up a cup of tea. <laughs> Here's that hood vent I was talking about. I also upgraded this to LED lights. This is vented to the outside now. Before it wasn't. I cover up these panels with some metal, sheet metal on the inside. Cooking some pasta. Just want to get the smell out. There you go. Now it goes outside. Before it didn't. I have more of these awesome hooks here. For your oven mitts. We have the oven. LEDs. Pretty cool. Your power outlets always work. Down here we have more storage. Trash can. Down here is hot water heater for winterizing. Down here is a furnace. Up here we got the air conditioner, 15,000 BTU. Even in Kentucky and Georgia, it was humid and hot, and our trailer was nice and cool. Just the way we like it. Charleston, South Carolina. There's proof of it right there. Calico Ghost Town, that's pretty cool. That's in California. Stop by the Grand Canyon, too. <clears throat> Refrigerator. Freezer. This will run off electricity, but I don't recommend that you do that. Just force it on propane when you have the inverter turned on, otherwise your battery will run down overnight. Don't ask me how. I know that. Nice and spacious, plenty of room in here. This is your controls for your furnace, fan. Check this out. That only runs off AC power. You can circulate some air. That's going on high. There you go. And if you add one more thing to this, you can turn it off. It's your heater as well. Heater, air conditioner, furnace, off. If you add a soft start capacitor to this on the roof, you can run your air conditioner off the batteries. You will need more batteries than I have in there, but I can build those for you. You can put more batteries in there, run your air conditioner off battery power. No problem. Nice little wall protector from the doorknob. I think that covers it in here. It's a nice little quiet room with a door for the kids. Well, mom and dad sleep up there. Everything up here, these nice little protector for the glass stove top. Again, the ice maker. You plug it in when you go camping. Turn it on, fill it with water. You got ice. Awesome. Nice drying rack here. I think that's about it on the inside here. So, about a 30 minute video. Hopefully this helps. Again, we have these nice signs, decals. Done a lot of upgrades to this trailer. In a short, short time we've had it. If there's anything else that you're curious about, Send me a message. Don't forget to like and subscribe our video and our YouTube channel, familydiy.net. This will be on there and on YouTube. Hopefully this helps some people out. 
these runner rugs are from Costco. Nice, soft, squishy mat for the kitchen here from Costco. And I can't talk highly enough about this, actually, this fabric here on these keystones. Um, I guess when I mean, you have kids with greasy hands, they touch it, so they soak right in. On this trailer, not so much. So, hope you like the tour. I think that's pretty much covered it all. I'll sign off. See you later. Have a good one. And take care.